hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video is try it again time again i have a danessa myrick foundation that i need to try again to see if i need to keep it in my collection or get rid of it or whatever i need to do with it so yeah this is the look i was able to achieve if you want to see how i got this look all the products i used and how this foundation wore throughout the entire day then make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time i post new videos because i post daily and i promise you don't want to miss it and i'm out of here peace out bye guys All right, guys, let's get to priming the face NYX Blur and some of my e.l.f. serum. I'm going to do the e.l.f. serum first this time because I never holy hydration, triple bounce serum. My face is already moisturized, and this is technically a moisturizer, but I like to use it for a primer. And I make sure I try to get like my eyelids too, because you know sometimes your eyelids can end up dry, or mine can throughout the day. Just want to make sure they're hydrated. Okay, that's done. Today we're um, doing a, I guess, foundation. Do I need it? Should I keep it? And it's a Danessa Myrick Vision Cream Cover 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And I have it in the shade W05. And that's probably why I decided to use something that was really moisturizing this morning because I remember this being extremely matte. <laughs> And it looks like this. I can't even remember like if this is my shade or not. But we're gonna see today. And it comes with a little pump. I left like the foundations that I needed to try again on the desk. So this is looking kind of light. I don't know. I don't know. If I remember, like, this is my shade. But I, I would imagine you don't need a whole lot. So we're not going to do a whole lot. Because this is thick. So just as little as we can. <laughs> All right. Take a brush. And it's a matte. I think the, um, is it? Yeah, the new concealer that came out, I think it's more a hydrating concealer. Clean up the top of my brows. You see the mark I had right there, so <laughs> when they say I cover, I cover. <laughs> yes, it did. This is one I probably, like, when I first brought it, like, I used way too much. You only need a very, very, very little of this. Now you see the coverage that you get. The color is good too. I don't know for whatever reason I thought the color was gonna be wrong, but the color is good. All right. Now I need to use a hydrating concealer. I'm gonna take my Sephora Brightening Concealer. Gotta open it. One from Amazon in the shade Cream Caramel. 
Sephora no longer sells this. But I like this. I like this more than the even better. Your skin but better concealer line from them. Thank you, Amazon, for making sure <laughs> that the security is on here. I appreciate it. 1,000%. All right. Cream Caramel. And this is a Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I think it's just the right highlight shade that I'm always looking for. <laughs> oh, and it feels like cooling gel. Feels so good. No. And a little bit of my e.l.f. Camo Matte. Get a little contour on me. And with this concealer, you don't have to rush to, like, oh, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up and blend before it dries in place. It's a gel concealer, so you don't have to rush. I'm gonna take this same concealer for the eyes today. Do something quick and brown. For me, quick looks equal brown looks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all yeah, see how that that um color is just like perfect for me. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Sasha. I try to just push in my smile lines just a little bit. Lip primer. My favorite nude. If I can grab it without spilling everything. <laughs> Those are colors, Sassy Sienna's. Take this shade as a transition. It's 
see how pigmented it is. <laughs> Love for your brush, blend it out. Then take this shade and put it on the lid, on top of that concealer, basically to set the concealer. I had a little glitter on one of these brushes, but that's fine. It just looked like I got a little pop of glitter without even trying. <laughs> and it's time for me to switch out these brushes. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of RCMA, no color powder, and just lightly set the face. I don't know about this foundation. I don't know if it's self-setting or not. But we're not taking no chances. All right, I'm gonna throw on some lashes before I do bronzer and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take this stiletto. Make a Revolution lip liner. I'm just going to head into the lip liner first. All right. Let me throw on these lashes. I'll be back. That uh, the Nessa Meyer gets full coverage without even trying. Like it, I didn't have to put down a lot at all. If I put down, I did. I put down less than a dime size amount for my entire face, and yeah. Okay, let's take this Elf Plumping and Peach Bellini gloss. Y'all know why we wait on lashes. And let's get a bronzer. Yeah, it's plumping too. <laughs> it's plumping. Where is it? Where is my NYX? I can use Juvia's Place Deep Dark, the lighter shade. All right, guys, this is how the completed look is using. Look is using. <laughs> this is the completed look using the Vanessa Myrick Vision, Vision Cream. Let me see what it says. It says it's waterproof. 
where it three ways natural and sheer full coverage or as a spot concealer pro tips mixed with a beauty all to to achieve sheer coverage so that lets you know how full coverage it is to to achieve desired look use minimal amount of product a little goes a long way so i didn't even read this and i knew like oh my goodness okay it doesn't feel heavy though it doesn't feel heavy it is, my face doesn't feel weighed down i don't feel like i look like i'm doing too much with my makeup this morning so i'm going to come back because we're going to do a wear test on this and you know the mark i have right here you can lightly see it but not like a whole, whole lot you know and i'm okay with a little bit of imperfection showing through because we all have imperfection hyperpigmentation pimples from time to time so that's natural like you don't walk around all day with your face in a filter like perfect skin perfect everything that's not reality so we're going to wear this today to see how it looks but so far i feel like my face still feels luminous and lightweight and natural looking even with a full coverage foundation so i'll see you guys in a couple of hours after work bye peace out all right guys i made it back after a little over 12 hours worth of wear and i will say today i had to blot it was around maybe like the five or six hour mark what happened i went outside for my break and it was like 90 something degrees and when i came back in i was had some shine on me so i did blot but as you can see this is how the skin and everything is looking of course it has wore off a little bit because the mark i have is a little bit more prominent but not a whole lot i think i have i'm holding my hands like this because i was greasing my scalp with this this design essentials anti-itch tension relief scalp butter with tea tree and aloe can y'all see it i got it from ulta you know ulta sells design hair products and i have to use like my scalp loves the grease i don't and i would say like i have a dry scalp like my scalp be like real dry for no reason like i can grease it today right now like i think amber had greased my hair with some oil yesterday after church and like today i'm greasing it again because it has dried i'm like what is wrong my scalp has always been that way but i don't know i'm starting to think that it's the synthetic hair so i gotta hurry up and take these braids out because i ain't got time to be grease on my scalp and i'm like i don't put a lot of product in it so it's not like product build up we're not even talking about that y'all we're supposed to be talking about this um the nessa Meyer full cover curl when i had to block my face i was like i don't like this this and when i first put it on this morning i loved it it was beautiful and then when i went outside on break and then my face was kind of a little shiny i'm like mm, i don't really like it and then right now looking at it i'm like it's okay hmm. i don't know i mean it looked beautiful i was just disappointed that i was like extremely shiny i was like way more shiny than i normally am like way more shiny so like right now i just blot and it went back to being good right let me get my nose and my eyebrows it went back to being good so i don't know this is the one that i'll be on the fence about i'm not really sure i don't really know about this one it's okay i just don't like the fact that it got why did it get so oily and i used the hydrating primer today and this is like matte i would consider that to be a matte Thing. I'm gonna try it again because I like this. I like how it looks now. We don't know. Drop down, let me know if you have this product. If so, what are your thoughts about it? I'm gonna continue to grease my hair and I am going to catch you guys later. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps my channel out a whole lot. And yeah, this got tea tree in all. It's kind of cool. You know, tea tree make your scalp cool. And my hair, it grows like super duper 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 fast yeah i know i cut my locks right so i didn't have no hair i was bald headed so i was trying to grow out my hair that's how i put these braids in it i was trying to grow out my hair so that i can get micro 
uh, locks. I wanted to get, not sister locks. I'm not a fan of sister locks, but I wanted to get micro locks. Somebody told me it was the same thing, but I don't think they're the same thing. Um, I want to, yeah, I want to get micro locks. So yeah, I think your hair got to be like four inches or something like that. So I got to let my hair grow out. So, and that's expensive. That thing like $3,000 or something to get those things in. So I uh, believe me, I won't be cutting them out whenever I get, whenever I get them locks in. I won't be cutting those out. Those going to stay in forever. And I told them people, I'm like, don't braid my edges. I don't care. I'm one of those people that don't care my edges out. Like, don't braid them. I don't need my edges right there. Okay, let me stop rambling. Peace out. Talk to y'all later. Thumbs up the video. And I'm out of here. <laughs> I heart y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.